This video will discuss chapter 5-2, solving equations with variables on each side. So the most important thing to remember when it comes to this section is that what you're going to be doing is solving an equation that has an x in this, as its variable in this problem, but on each side of the equation. So remember that when we talked about this at the very beginning of the year, that these variables actually have the same properties as numbers, because in reality that's what they are. And so even though you, you may see them as letters, whatever you can do with numbers, you can do with these letters. So for example, because I would be able to subtract 8 from both sides, if I wanted to, in this particular problem it wouldn't necessarily help me, what I want to do is try to get the x, I want to isolate the variable, right? That's been my goal this entire time. So I want to get all of the x's on this side, I'm going to keep the constants, and there's only one constant over here, and that's this 8 on this side. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract x from both sides. Now when I do that, x minus x, just as 7 minus 7 is 0, 20 minus 20 is 0, 1 half minus 1 half is 0, x minus x is also 0. So this will cancel itself out, and I'd be left with, remember this is a 1, so 3x minus 1x is the same as, or equals, 2x, and then this is coming down, and since this was positive, this is po a positive 8. I now have 2x equals 8. I don't want to know what 2x is, I want to know what 1x is, and so what I'm going to do is take the numbers in front of the x, the coefficient in front of the x is at 2, I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and I end up with x equals 4. Now again, I can check my answer if I want, just remember that I'm with, there are two places where I would need to substitute in this x, and so this is 3 times 4, which equals 12, and then 4 plus 8 equals 12, and since 12 equals 12, I know that this is my correct answer. All right, and then there could be a little bit more of a complex problem, but the same idea. And so I need to get the y's on the same side, or the variables on the same side, and the constants on the same side. And so in this particular problem, there, may, there are a bunch of ways that you could solve this, um, for, take the first step to solve this problem. For me, the easiest thing is going to be to, to make the y, put the y's on this side, um, mostly because it'll keep them positive. However, you could theoretically add 10, subtract 7y, you're just going to end up with the y over on that side, and it'll be negative, and, and if you want to try it, you can try it, pause the video, and then come back and watch us do it, make sure we get the same answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 4y from both sides. Now, I typically deal with the variable first. However, some people in this particular problem would subtract 8 from both sides first, and that's fine. You'll see that we end up getting the same thing. So this is going to cancel out. I'm left with 3y, don't forget about this 8 that's still there, equals negative 10. Now what I'm going to do is now I would subtract the 8. This is going to go away. And I've got 3y, be careful, that's not negative 2. Negative 10 minus 8 is negative 18. Okay, and then finally, the last thing I need to do is divide by the coefficient that's in front of the y. And in this case, that's a 3. And negative 18 divided by 3 is negative 6. So y equals negative 6. Now I could take this negative 6, I could substitute it in here, and substitute it in here, just to make sure that this works and that it's true on both sides. Also remember that I could have subtracted 8 first and then subtracted 4y and I would have ended up getting to this exact same step. Either way would work. And that's actually all that we've got for you in uh, section 5.2. Um, just keep in mind that in this particular section you're, you're treating variables the same as numbers. So just you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide variables just like you can numbers. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to do the problems on the bottom of the page, and I'll see you in class.